Only the Ferrari is also doing that, so let's hopefully get a better view for the start. Once a three, four, five red lights. Lights out and away we go here in Portimao. It's Portuguese Grand Prix. And it looks like Chenjay's had a decent start. Maybe at turn one. Nope, not quite. Is that uh, Chenjay and Yenab actually maybe swapping positions in the bow for the podium? Yenna has gone quite wide. Side. He's using overtake to him. Once he get the move done. No, that's the same. no, he has gone for it. Down the inside. Uh, and that is down at turn five. Tour de Vip, I believe. But uh, no, that's the same behind for now. Split in the Aston Martins. If we remember... Oh, Griff is tired. That's in the pits, so... Expect to see. Is... <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, oh, we could have a move here. Cody going down the inside of yes on the main straight. We finally got an overtake in this race. And luckily, it's for the lead. Hey, and so the McLaren and the Red Bull finally starts in fighting. And then maybe John thinking can get in this as well. Maybe got back some, but I messed that one up completely. But <laughs> don't worry about that. Jesper's not worried about my bad references to songs. He's looking at the flashing light of Cody, which means flashing light equals no ERS left. Or minimal. Uh, yeah, it's He's the uh, unfortunate victim. Cody's going to burn that energy like crazy to try to cover up the McLaren. Yes, but yes, but probably too far back, right? Surely, yeah. You usually can't get a move come from five turns back. Chenji a bit closer, but you know, it's slightly harder trying to regenerate ERS out. So it's not overly surprising. Chenji just spawning his breaking point. No, he's actually maybe going for it. A little late lock up, too. Right by the side of the plane. And. Uh, I, I, I just asked a question. I just asked <laughs> the crowds. Um, we had Jesper's gone for it at turn one. Yeah. Doesn't have a great exit though, uh, due to line he had to take. So Cody could strike back here. I think we're yeah. Top track is in the session, so it doesn't matter. And uh, Jesper's staying ahead of Cody, uh, but Chenje rise on the back. Yeah. Well, the red just missed out. Um, but if he backed off to the point where he could get DRS, it may have lost some the position to Cody, so he could only afford to. And at the moment, McLaren keeps the lead, but it's definitely getting cloudy up there. It's pretty much full cloud now. It is. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, no, he's gone back. I, are they race orders oh. at play here? Oh, Yonti's got a penalty. Yonti's got a penalty, so that's going to interfere with things. Yeah, that was with his teammate. When it comes to that strategy, I think Cody at the moment's better, better staying in that P2 position and not getting ahead. Otherwise, he could give his hint away of his strategy. Yeah. So, but this is now territory where, hey, all right, you might be able to pull it out for a couple more laps, but there's one thing. You can't pull that car out of the fence if you slap it into it. Steal a couple of positions away, perhaps, or at least to get that 35-second deficit down. Can, how's Jesper going to react to this one? Yeah, so it, but the, the fact that one is going to come in the slam. Yeah, so he gets so the, yes, who's going in? Yes, who's coming in? Cody's going in. Cody, Chenjay with yeah. a lot of speed. Uh, Yenna comes in and Yonti has to stay out. Yeah, he has to stay out. Otherwise, they double stack. I think that's a bad idea. Ted's dead, baby. Ted's dead. Oh, there's a reference to uh, Pulp Fiction. Anyway, look at the track now, mate. <laughs> it's so The fact that they even went for that, maybe the top three isn't decided quite because Yes was looking pretty good for the win. And Cody for second, Chenjay though for third. Might still be in the threat. That change in the track as a driver. Your breaking points, like all of a sudden, you know, you're not breaking 50 anymore, you're breaking about 75, 100. Oh, I... he's sliding everywhere, oh, mate. Oh. He's struggling. Trenders, they're, they're getting tricky. They're, they're slowly, and you know, could say time penalty. And remember, two, the top two drivers, Jesper and Cody, are also nursing two warnings. One more for any of those gladiators, and they join the three second penalty club. He has, has he got a dry setup in wet conditions as it's getting even more wetter? The times are starting to go a little bit towards the 26ers back again, which means the track is getting a little bit more wet. This is Chen Jay's opportunity right now to size him up. 27 to 33. And it's going to be either pit is lane. He going into the pit? Yeah, I would go into pit lane and put wets on right now just for the gamble. Got nothing to lose. Top Jack's not in the race, so go for it. Yeah, might as well. Uh, not, literally not going to lose, I think, right now. Chen gets past. But. I think John Chen's is like, let me put pressure on Cody, see if we can force him into a mistake, see if we can force him into a penalty, and then pounce. Problem is, three laps is all he has left. The one that's chased right now, if you were in Cody's boots. Oh, oh, oh. well, Chen going for it, so I'll answer that in a moment. 
Uh, but yeah, God, well, there's a bit of wheel bang going on. This is because this is Jonathan Sonnes. If he doesn't get wheel bang going on, this is because this is Jonathan Sonnes. If he doesn't get it now, he might not have another chance. These kind of attacks take a very long time to set up for. Cody goes defensive. Chandri round the outside through the hairpin. Oy, he's well, the only thing he's missing is the fastest lap that should go to Cody. But uh, hey, it's one point. 25, I'll take it. Here we go. Crossing the line right now. Yes, but wins. The Portuguese Grand Prix in changeable conditions. Fantastic. Oh, I am correct on that one. But that man on the top step is correct about picking up the trophy. And that's what, Jesper's second race win this season? 